So here's our electric motor. The armature is made up of 26 gauge enameled copper wire wrapped around an iron bolt that is 5 16 of an inch. We wrapped 500 times on each side and we went down and back three times on each side to achieve those 500 wraps. And it's connected to this commutator made up of two copper sheets that are placed parallel to each side of the, the armature and four 9 volt batteries power the motor and we place one wire above the commutator and one wire below the commutator to run it. On either side of the armature are two neodymium rare earth magnets that are extremely powerful as you can see and we use this spool to store the wound string and this eye bolt to run the string through to make sure that it does not tangle when the motor is running. Yeah. When these wires connected to the batteries are placed on the commutator and are connected, it creates a current that runs through this enameled wire and the, that current and those electrons and those charges have to move through each each wrap because this has a coating and so the wires are not touching and the charges must go through every single wrap and so each wrap since moving electrons or moving charges causes a magnetic field each wrap adds to that magnetic field in a vector addition and so what you get is these 500 wraps on either side add up and create a very strong magnetic field acting in one direction. And so when they're in this upright position, since the wires are held one above, one below, in that same position the entire time, when it's in this position, one is attracted, one side of the armature is attracted, one side repels. And so it starts moving. But when it gets in this position, neither of the two wires connected to the batteries are touching the plates of the commutator. And so it begins to drift. And so in this position, now a different plate, the opposite plates are touching the wires. And so the opposite ends of the armature are attracted and repelled. And so it's this continuous cycle of attracting and repelling and then drifting interacting and, and repelling and then drifting that keeps this electric motor spinning.